Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about five things I need before I'll start any particular project. So thanks for watching this video. And if you get something out of it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So the first thing I need when I'm starting a project is a down payment and a signed contract. That's number one. If I don't have a signed contract or a deposit, I'm not gonna start that job. Usually we'll get a deposit so that we can reserve your spot in our schedule and a down payment allows us to pay our, our labor and also our material costs as we get going on our project. Another thing I need to start every project is a good plan. A good set of plans is gonna help you identify where you need to put your footings, how you're gonna frame your deck, where things are gonna be placed, where they're gonna go, so on and so forth. Having a good plan is really important and it's better than going out and just winging it, right? Like you wanna make sure you have everything listed you know which way your framing is going, you know which way your beams are gonna go, you know where your footing placements are, all that stuff is really important. So a good plan is really key for me to start a new project. Having the proper materials on site is vital to starting a successful project. As you can see here, we have all of this lumber that's all been graded out and ready to go. We have our beams sitting out over here ready to be cut down for different various lengths that we have on this particular deck. So having the right materials is gonna save you time and money. I've actually over-ordered. I have too much material on site. That's okay, because we're doing another deck on the front of this house as well. So I have additional lumber to pick from, which is great having a minimal amount or trying to get a precise amount of materials usually doesn't work out too good because there's always something that you're needing to fix or add to or something. So I always like to have a couple extra pieces on hand to make sure that I can select from, choose from, or reject a couple parts and pieces as I'm building. Another thing I need on site before I'll start a project, if it's a decent sized deck, if we're gonna be there for more than a couple days, I need my chop saw set up. So as you can see over here, we have our 12 inch compound slide miter saw made it to a cut hub base plate that's hooked to the cut hub. We always have to have this. We have it on every single job. We have another one for our table saw as well. I do use a skill saw, a rear handle saw quite often. Having a chop saw on site is vital. We make thousands of repetitive cuts on it and it's just something a go-to powerhouse that we use on every job. All right guys, and at last but not least is one of these. This is a rear handle saw. This one's made by Metabo HPT. The cordless versions of these saws have gotten so powerful and so accurate that we no longer use extension cords with these type of tools. They come in really handy. We make a lot of cuts with this as well between the chop saw and the rear handle saw. Those are two things that we need basically on every project. We also have various hand tools and those kind of things obviously that we use for every job, but those two are the powerhouses that we use quite often on our projects. So if you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys need to start your next project. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.